In the previous video, we finished setting up the case. This video will describe how to validate the case setup, export the input files, and run the simulation. Now that you have completed setting up the case, it is time to check for errors. Click on the Case Setup Issues tab at the bottom of the screen. If this tab is not visible, you can display it by going to the View menu, clicking on the Output Panes drop-down menu, and checking the Case Setup Issues checkbox. Click the Validate All button to check if there are any problems with the case setup. Converge Studio will display errors marked by a red exclamation point and warnings marked by an orange question mark in the Case Setup Issues log as well as in the Case Setup doc. Errors will prevent Converge from running, but warnings will not. We recommend that you resolve warnings before running Converge as they may still affect your results. For example, if you open the Boundary dialog box, and change the mass fraction of a species, and then click the plus button without assigning a new species, the case setup issues log will display both an error and a warning. If there is an error or warning, click on the exclamation point or question mark in either the case setup issues log or the case setup doc to open the corresponding dialog box. When you are done changing or adding case setup information, validate the case again to verify that the warning or error was resolved. If you see the validation has been successfully completed, no issues found message, you are ready to export the input files and run the simulation. If you've already saved your progress, save again at this point by going to File, Save. If you haven't saved your progress yet, go to File, Save As, and enter a file name of your choice. Converge Studio saves all geometry and case setup information as a .cvg file. Note that you do not run Converge from Converge Studio, and you will need to export the input files to run the simulation. It is important to note that the version of your input files must match the version of the Converge solver. To check what version of Converge Studio you are using, click on the Message Log tab. Because we are using version 2.2, the input files that we are about to export will be version 2.2. Therefore, we must run this simulation with the Converge 2.2 solver. Now click on File, Export, Export Input Files. Verify that all input files are checked and select an output folder in which to store the files. This output folder is the case directory from which you will run the simulation. Note the Overwrite Existing Files and Clean Output Folder before exporting checkboxes. Check these only if you are fine with losing old files in this directory. Then click OK to export the input files and a message will appear confirming that Converge Studio has exported the files to the specified directory. Note that Converge will not run if turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation are set to zero for certain types of boundary conditions. Even though this case does not use any physical models, you will still need to manually change these quantities in the boundary.in file. In your case directory, open boundary.in as a text file. Then, set the values of TKE and EPS for the inlet boundary to non-zero values. Save this file by going to File, Save, and then close it. You are now ready to run Converge. You do not need Converge Studio for this, but you will need to open a command prompt. We assume that your license has been set up and that you have the correct version of the Converge executable. Contact your license administrator for assistance in setting up your license. You can email licensing at convergecfd.com or support at convergecfd.com if you need additional assistance with running Converge. To run Converge from the command line in Windows, you must first change into your case directory that has all of your input files. To run a simple simulation such as this channel flow case in Serial, type the name of the Converge executable that you downloaded and placed into the case directory in the command line and press Enter. Depending on the type of license that you have, you will have to add an additional argument after the name of the Converge executable. You can also type check underscore inputs after the name of the Converge executable in order to validate the inputs. If you see the message, Converge has checked the input file successfully, you are ready to begin the simulation. Type the executable name and press enter. Converge will output the current time step and other information as it progresses through the simulation. Now that the simulation is complete, you can access the results that Converge writes into the .out 
and post.out files to be used for post-processing. Check the case directory to verify that the .out files are there. Converge will also create a new subdirectory in the case directory called output, where it will write results into post.out files. Verify that the post.out files are in the output directory as well. The next two videos will discuss the post-processing techniques available in Converge Studio.